We're in Dawn Books on Marylebone High Street in London. It's one of my favourite bookshops. And one of the things about it which is really wonderful is that the books are arranged by the country that they're to do with. So you'll have a whole section on Italy. In fact, to my left is the section on Italy. No, that's the section on Spain. I do apologise. But you've got travel books and also novels to do with that country, history books, uh, various kinds of guidebook, art book. And I think that's just a really attractive way of organising a bookshop. I think the role of the bookshop is very much as it was. It's just that bookshops have to do things they used not to have to do. The retail environment is a lot more competitive and there's a sense that bookshops have to do more than sell books. They have to sell greeting cards and stationery, but they also have to advertise themselves as a kind of mustering point for literary people. So they tend to have things like cafes and bars and they have to put on events to create the sense of themselves as a sort of social hub, you could say. Well, one of the things I say in my book is that a bookshop is the only kind of grotto that is also a lighthouse. And the idea there is that a bookshop is a place of sanctuary, but it's also a place of enlightenment. And the best bookshops, I think, combine those two things. They are organised in a way that shows real flair and a sense of style, but also shows passion about books. And one of the most important things in any bookshop is the people who run them, their passion their knowledge, their commitment to the book as a repository of knowledge and ideas, but also as a delightful object. One of my favourite bookshop finds is this novel by B.S. Johnson from the 1960s, The Unfortunates. This is a reissue, but it's a hard book to find. And it's interesting because it's a novel in a box, and actually if you open it up, there are all these different sections that you can shuffle, and the idea is that you can read the book in a different order. Everyone's experience is slightly different because of all these different permutations. And it's, it's a fascinating experiment, but also the book is rare, and it was a real pleasure to stumble on it because it was a book I'd read about and heard about, but not actually had in my mitts, so to speak. There were two things that are special for me uh, about that relationship between bookshops and authors. The first is that a bookshop is a kind of temple of literariness. It's the place where you go to see literature displayed and arrayed and cherished. The other thing I suppose I'd say is that when you go into a bookshop and you see your books on the shelves, there's a huge buzz in that and you get a sense of your place in the literary universe.